Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divine Goddess Enlightenment. I'm Ashley and I am here to give a message, a reading for all the black sheeps out there. As you come in, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, everything you need to know about me and my poetry book, which is available on Amazon, will be in the description. How are you guys? I hope all you guys are doing great. I do. I have some messages. I have to write this stuff down, y'all. So uh, this is this uh, reading here. This is specifically for all the black sheep out there. OK, so I was led to do this reading because you are, you have always felt like the eyeball out. You always have been counted out. You always have been picked last. You always have been talked about, made, made to feel not like you're not worthy. It's a reason for that. I am here to enlighten you on why you were doubted and always made to feel inadequate. Okay, so you, okay, you guys have always felt like the eyeball out. You always felt like you were treated differently from others. You was always picked last. You were always uh, talked about. People always looked over you and you never understood why. You never understood why. And I, I am here to break that down for you. I am too a black sheep. So I could tell you all about it. It's a reason why you've been through that. It's a reason why you you the black sheep. You actually the chosen one. Okay. And I'm, I'm here to give you some enlightenment on that. Because a lot of you guys think you went through these things in vain. And you that's just simply not true. And two, what I was hearing that I wrote down is all the lies they spoke on your name, all the, uh, all, everybody who said that you weren't going to be shit, everybody who counted you out, everybody who gossip about you and said all those evil, foul things about you, they going to have to eat those words. Every single last one of them motherfuckers, they going to have to eat what they said because you the one, you the chosen one. You went through that. You had to go through that for a reason to wake up to who you are, okay? And also, it's a song by Bobby Caldwell. It's called Carry On. I don't know if you guys uh, look it up, okay? Uh, he be like, carry on. Though you may not understand it, you got to carry on. And then he be like, Things may not have turned out the way you planned it. You got to carry on. So, yeah, that's for you guys, too. That's significant to you guys, too. Because a lot of you guys uh, may, may dwell on the things you went through in the past. A lot of you guys may go back and forth in your head. Uh, about why this happened, why that happened, why they treat me like this. Spirit just, well, your spirit wants you to carry on from the past. Uh, you may not understand it. Things may not have turned out as you planned it, but you must carry on because you're on a, you have a big purpose. You, you're on a huge mission, okay? You have a huge purpose, okay? I'm here to enlighten you on that. If you the black sheep of the family, you're the chosen one. You're really the goat, okay? Black sheep turn goat, okay? And I got black sheep turn goat t-shirts. I can't put them up on my channel now, but if y'all interested, comment. They real nice. I got different colors too. So we gonna get the overall energy of this message. <sighs> okay, spirit. Um, what's the overall energy for my black sheep for this message? What's the overall energy for my black sheep for this message? What's the overall energy energy spirit for my black sheep? Thank you. This, oh, I can't, y'all, this shit crazy. Look, the chariot. This is, the chariot, this is about moving forward. Didn't I just say carry on? Things may not have turned out the way you planned it. You got to carry on. Y'all, I can't make this shit up. Look, and at the bottom, we got the higher fan. Yes. Uh, so, okay. Some of you with the, this is cancer energy. So, some of you guys could be a cancer. And with the higher fan at the bottom, 
some of you guys could be uh, a Taurus, but the overall energy, like I said, carry on. You, a lot of you guys, you, you go back, you think about all the things that happened to you in your past. You think about why you were ridiculed, why you were treated different, why they uh, kicked you when you was down, why you was picked last, why they talked about you. That's because you're you're the chosen one, okay? That's because you have a huge purpose. Like I said, the overall energy, spirit wants you to carry on, move forward. Don't dwell on how you were treated in the past. Don't dwell on those people that hurt you. Don't dwell on that, those people that made you feel inadequate OK, because you're going to get confirmation how worthy and special and unique you are. Spirit is telling you, push forward, carry on. Don't dwell on the past. That's the overall energy. OK, carry on. Wow. And then we got the higher fin at the bottom. The higher fin. This is God energy. This is us. This also. This speaks about God energy. It speaks about spirituality, religion, tradition. So, yes, with this. You are, like I did, I just say you have a huge purpose. You, the, you want to know the reason why you went through all that shit? The reason why you was ridiculed? The reason why you had a hard knock life? Because you, part of your purpose is to tell your story. Part of, you see how he, you're a teacher, yeah? This is a spiritual teacher. You're a spiritual teacher. You're supposed to, you are some sort of teacher, some sort of coach. So I'm hearing life coach. You could, some of you guys could be a daycare teacher. Some of you guys could love children. That's for somebody. But yeah, you are, you went through everything you went through because you are a spiritual teacher. That's why spirit is telling you, carry on, move forward. Cause you have a, I just said, you have a huge purpose. You have a huge destiny. You was chosen to do something great. You was chosen to teach others and lead others because you have been through a lot of challenges, a lot of struggles, a lot of adversity. Some of you guys uh, could have been in toxic relationships. Some of you guys uh, you, you was homeless before. Some of you guys could have been molested, right? I hate to trigger anyone, okay? I just got to uh, put it out there. Some of you guys went through some traumatic experiences and it, you were chosen as a black sheep. You're the black sheep. You're the chosen one. You were chosen to share your story, okay? Period. Yeah, you could be a... Look, you could be a Libra, but all those people that ridicule with the chosen one, you best believe justice is coming and spirit you could be an aquarius spirit is calling you to heal you guys are healing from past tra traumatic situations okay and that's just period period wow yeah so you guys it's a reason like i said you you it's a reason you went through what you went through you are you're being called you are being called to share your story you are being called to heal and stand in your power and to to teach what you have learned from the things you went through like i said all those people all those people who spoke evil on you all those people who said you weren't gonna be shit who spoke down on you they gonna have to eat those words and that's just period that's just period Y'all look, make sure y'all look up that song. Bobby Caldwell, carry on. It's called Carry On, y'all. My bad. Okay, let's get, let's get to it. Okay, spirit. I'm just so excited to do this reading for y'all. Because I know a lot of you guys, you have questions. I just want you to know you did not all that shit you went through in life. You ain't go through it in vain. It's a reason. You got a huge purpose, a huge purpose. Clarify the chariot spirit. Please say thank you. Clarify the chariot. Clarify the chariot spirit. Clarify the chariot for my black sheets. Turn goats. <laughs> Wow. <clears throat> Clarifying the chariot. 
The hermit card, like I said, remember I said carry on? Wow, I can't make this shit up. Y'all, the hermit, this is Virgo energy. You could be a Virgo I'm talking to. But the hermit, this is someone who is experiencing a spiritual awakening. This is someone who is seeking some type of enlightenment. I told y'all, y'all, y'all are, you guys are seeking some, seeking answers. And I am here, look, I am here to enlighten you. You are someone who has experienced a spiritual awakening or you are experiencing some type of awakening. You are seeking some type of truth, some type of answers. You are, you are the hermit. You are, you, some of you guys could, uh, could be, uh, just spending a lot of time alone. Some of you guys could not want to be bothered with folks. I'm hearing too, you have always been a loner all your life. You always love to spend time by yourself. You never really was the person to, you never had a lot of friends I'm getting, okay? You always was a loner, okay? And like I said, you guys are in this energy of seeking enlightenment. You are seeking enlightenment on your path. You are going through some type of awakening. You are seeking enlightenment and when you do find that enlightenment and when you do uh, sp uh, sprout out from your spiritual awakening, you are being called to share your story. You are chosen. You are being called to teach others. That's why some of you guys, you could be uh, in this energy of studying, reading, uh, studying about angel numbers, um, frequencies, uh, metaphysical things, spiritual things, crystals. And if you're not, you're, uh, you're being called to do, to do some digging. Go with that. Do, do some studying. Study about, um, ancient spirituality, about crystals, about herbs, about things that can heal you from the things you've been through. Okay. You guys are going through a spiritual awakening or you already have. And you're being called to tell your story because, like I said, you did not go through the, go through this in vain. That's why it's a must you carry on. Don't dwell on what happened in the past. Those people who really quick cruel you, gossip about you, talked about you, did you wrong, they are going to get karma for that because you cannot fuck with a chosen one. Period. They going to get karma too. Yeah. And then too, uh, some of you guys could be a, you could be an earth sign. Don't get caught up on the signs, y'all. You don't have to be these signs, but you could be a lead. You could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. This, the King of Pentacles, this is, this is, uh, speaks of wealth, success, prosperity. You, by you going within, getting enlightenment, by you going within, studying, doing what you have to do, getting enlightenment on your path. And by you teaching others, by you stepping in your, your purpose, your destiny, stepping in your power to teach others, this is what this is what's gonna make you wealthy. This is what's gonna make you very prosperous, very abundant. This is someone very abundant, very successful. You, you stepping into your purpose is gonna make you successful. Okay, this is your calling. I'm hearing this is what you're supposed to be doing. If, if you're you're the black sheep, you know you you ain't go through those things for a reason. And with for you you went through those things to to heal and to teach others. You have a huge purpose, I'm hearing. Huge purpose. And then with the Page of Swords, this is air sign energy. An air sign could be significant for some of you guys. Um, the Page of Swords, this is like watching energy. I'm, I'm getting, I'm hearing, you may not have known this, but you have been, you have been uh, protected and watched over all your life. You may not know this either, but you were born with two or more guardian angels that been helping you throughout this life since you were born. They were assigned to you. Us chosen ones, we are, we have assigned angels, spirit guides. We have ancestors to help us on our path. To help us on our path. You have been looked over. You you have your ancestors have been watching you. The most high has been watching you. They've been watching everything that's been going on in your life. They know who talked about you. They know who didn't help you when you need it. They know who shitted on you. They know all that. That's why justice is going to be served. You have been protected, divinely protected, divinely watched over since you were a child. A page, this is child energy. Since you was a child, you've been protectly, per, divinely protected and watched over, period. 
Clarify the hair, the higher fence spirit, please and thank you. Ha! <laughs> Look, y'all. I can't make this shit up. Look, the higher fence clarifying the higher fence. Double Taurus energy, like I said, some of you are a Taurus out there. This is just confirming that this is your destiny. This is your purpose. Your purpose is to teach others from the things you have been through. I'm here a life coach. Some of you guys need to write a book, yeah? Some of you guys need to write a book of the things you went through. You are a teacher. You are a teacher. Some of you guys could be a spiritual healer, so I'm hearing too. You are, so, you are some type of teacher. All those things you've been through, you the black sheep. That's why, and we get tested the most. You've been tested, going through tests throughout this whole, your whole life experiencing. You've been tested. Wow, look. Five of Pentacles. This piece of, uh, it, uh, this piece of health, this piece of health, decline in health, this piece of being left out in the cold. This is how people treated you all your life. All your life, like I said, you were made to feel like you weren't worthy. You was made to feel, uh, abandoned. Some of you guys could have felt abandoned by your parents, by whoever you, uh, raised you. You always just felt left out in the cold. You felt like the eyeball out. You felt like you wasn't worthy. People didn't respect you, I'm hearing. But, oh, <laughs> they they, gone, they ain't going to have no choice but to respect you after this. Page of Wands. Some of you guys could have, to have some good news coming in. You could be a fire sign. Some of you guys, yeah. Let's get some energy. I'm going to get... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, this is how you were you were made to feel. You were made to feel unworthy and adequate. People told you you weren't gonna be shit in life. People overlooked you. I'm hearing you was you the, was the gift the whole time. Look at this. I can't make this up. You stepping in your power is gonna bring you a lot of success. You stepping in your purpose, being the teacher that you was born to be. I can't make it up. You were born to do this. I'm hearing. And two, God hid you. See, look, <laughs> God hid you. This is how you showed up to people. You see how he he really, he you know, got on his little rats or whatever, and that's fine. This is how people viewed you. But God put a veil over people's eyes because this is who you really are. This is who you really are. Wealthy, healthy, successful. This is your destiny. But People, uh, God put a veil over people's eyes to, to so people could see you in, in the 3D state. So people could see you for you to see how they was going to treat you. And they felt the test because they treated you horribly. I'm hearing. God put a veil over these people's eyes to hide who you really are because they was being tested too. Just like you, we be tested. People that we come in contact with, they are being tested too. God want to see, how are you going to treat my chosen one? How are you going to uh, respond? Are you going to help? Are you going to help my chosen one when he or she are, is in need? Or are you going to shit on them? Are you going to gossip about them? Are you going to talk about them? You feel me? Wow, this is powerful. This is a deep message. This is somebody's story. You as a teacher, you're supposed to be teaching. All my black sheep out there, I just want y'all to know y'all are special. You worthy. You love. You so special. Man, you just don't know. <laughs> yeah, forgiveness. Some of some of you, God is calling for you, you guys to forgive those people. For they forgive those people that left you out in the cold, those people that made you feel inadequate and unworthy because they didn't know who you were. Like I said, God put a veil over these people's eyes so they couldn't see who you really were. So they couldn't see who you really were. Spirit is telling you to forgive these people. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Yes, Spirit is saying, forgive these people. Don't harbor any hate or resentment towards these people. Cleanse your energy, detach from these people, forgive them from afar, and your 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 blessings, your abundance is going to be flowing in like crazy. We can't manifest when we have hate and resentment in our heart. It's, we block our own blessings like that. So Spirit is telling you, um, Spirit is telling you, release. Uh, 
Release those old feelings, those uh, negative ways of thinking. Release the hate that you have in your heart. Release it. Spirit understand. God understand, okay? Because these people did you wrong. You are done wrong and overlooked in your life for the longest. And it stops now. Because people finna see who you really are. And that's period. Come through, spirit. What's the divine, I mean, what's the soul's lesson message? What's the soul's lesson message? Thank you. I can't make this shit up. Like I said, abundance. Like I said, when you feel the, uh, you uh, release those, those feelings you had towards those people that left you out in the cold, look, you're, this is, like I said, this is going to make you very wealthy. You stepping into your power, being a teacher you are, this is going to make you very wealthy. Those, those, like I said, those people that said you wasn't going to be shit, that, those people that said you wouldn't amount to anything, they going to have to eat all those words. They're going to have to eat all those words. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And that you can. And that's what you are doing. Spirit wants you to know you are limitless. You have, you, you have been equipped with the energy, with spiritual gifts to manifest and do whatever you want. Be whoever you want to be in this life. You have the power. You are very powerful. A lot of you don't know how powerful you are. How What type of energy that you walk in. And then we have the loneliness card. A lot of you guys, like I said, a lot of you guys are loners. Didn't I say that, y'all? A lot of you guys are loners. You're a loner. You you never had many friends in life. You It was always just you. Okay, you are a loner. Some of you guys at this time, you may feel alone at this time too. You may feel lonely, but I know that I am never alone. You are never alone. Then I say you were born with spirit guides, guardian angels. You have ancestors. You are never alone. They are always around you, supporting you. Look, this you and this your ancestors, your spirit guides and your angels, they all around you. I'm here too. Some of you guys to feel the energy. Some of you guys could feel the energy of your angels and spirit guides around you because you're that powerful. Okay, spirit. Um, damn, it was that indecision card. I wanted to read that. Okay, yeah. This was at the bottom, y'all. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Yes, like I said, a lot of you guys, you are you are very powerful. You have a strong intuition. Some of you guys are empathic and you you are very intuitive. You have spiritual gifts too. Like I said, with this purple, you have a lot of uh, spiritual enlightenment inside of you. You have a lot of spiritual enlightenment and wisdom inside of you, inside of you that needs to get out so you can teach others, okay? And a lot of you guys, too, like I said, a lot of you guys was going back and forth. A lot of you guys was uh, have over the years. Some of you guys doubted yourself. Some of you guys uh, was going. Uh, some of you guys were doubting your ability, doubting, doubting your potential, doubting who you are. This is confirmation you are chosen. This is confirmation that you are chosen for a huge purpose, that you are a teacher. Some of you guys need to write a, a book. Write that book, okay? So you are, you, it, dude, step into your calling. This is going to make you very rich. <laughs> Whoo, wealthy, abundance. I can't make it up, y'all. Let me get one more message, spirit. One more message for my black sheep, for my chosen ones. Health. I will honor the physical vessel, vessel that enshrines my soul. Yeah, a lot of you guys, your favorite color could be green. So a lot of you guys, too, could be working on your heart chakra. Or Spirit is saying it, uh, some of you guys may need to work on your heart chakra, okay? Open up your heart to receive these blessings. Open up your heart to receive uh, this divine energy, divine love that's all around you. Trust the process. Trust that you are who you are. Trust your intuition. You see this? Open your third eye. Trust that you are who you are. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Exactly. Trust your intuition. Trust that you are chosen. Trust that you have a huge purpose, okay? Don't let doubt, don't let doubt 
I can't make this shit up. Look, y'all. Don't let doubt seep in. Don't let doubt seep in. Release the need to know all the answers because you're being divinely guided on this path. I acknowledge that harboring. Yeah, again, some of you guys here need to forgive yourself. Some of you guys may need to forgive yourself uh, for forgive yourself for uh, doubting yourself. Yeah. Some of you guys need to forgive yourself for doubting yourself, doubting your abilities, doubting your power, doubting who you are. OK, and that's OK. It happens to the best. It happens to the worst of us. The best. I'm sorry. The best of us. OK. It's OK. We all make mistakes, but it's those who enlighten themselves and learn from them that uh, that that make all the, the difference. That make all the uh, spirit clarify abundance. Clarify abundance. For, oh. I'm going to take, I ain't going to take these. I'm going to take this one because this felt, dude, this felt, <laughs> spirit, this fell on top of abundance. Ten of Pentacles. Do y'all know what the Ten of Pentacles is? This is generational wealth. This is building an empire. This is inheritance. Some of you guys may be inheriting, uh, you're inheriting spiritual gifts, spiritual monies. You have inherited some type of spiritual, uh, yeah, spiritual gifts. You have a lot of things coming towards you, okay? Abundance. This is Ten of Pentacles. This is wealth. This is generational wealth. You guys, you guys are supposed to be building your empire. Some of you guys that's in your power already, that some of you guys are already in your power. You working on building your empire. You stepping in your power and you stepping up and you stepping into your purpose. Because this, like I said, this is going to the King of Pentacles with the, the Ten of Pentacles. You finna be rich and wealthy. If, and yeah, those of you that's in your power now, y'all know who I'm talking to. Y'all manifest in abundance. This is your birthright. This is old to you. You supposed to be rich and wealthy. Those people from your past, they gonna wish they never spoke ill on you. They gonna wish they never doubted you. Some of you guys, a uh, uh, water sign could be significant, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, or you could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Take it where it resonates. It don't, you don't have to be. You could be any sign. But like I said, those people that doubt it's you, they're going to have to eat all those words. Uh, clarify forgiveness, spirit. Wow. Page of Wines in the reverse. Yes. The page of, this is good news. This is a uh, good information, good communication. It came in the reverse. So yeah, spirit is saying, like I said, those people that spoke ill on you, those people that was speaking, speak, people spoke foul on your name all the time. Gossip about you behind your back. Spirit is saying, forgive these people because you have so much coming in you don't even see right now. Spirit, them, these people spoke foul on your name. Forgive them. Spirit said, forgive them. For they know not who you are. And that's that's period. Spirit said, let your guard down, okay? Let your guard down and open your heart. To, open your heart so you can so you can receive these blessings. So you can receive these blessings. Open your heart. Yeah. A lot of you guys, ooh, y'all strong as ever. All the shit y'all went through, it never broke, y'all. You could be a Leo. You're, you're the, you, you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot of things that never broke y'all. You have a lot of inner strength. That's why you've been blessed too. Cause you never folded. You never folded. Despite all the things you've been through, you never folded. You stayed in your power. And like I said, a lot of you, y'all in y'all power right now. Y'all, a lot of you, y'all know who y'all are. Y'all know who y'all are. Y'all in y'all power. Get into it. Manifest it. Okay. Y'all know what it is. Clarify loneliness, spirit. Clarify loneliness. Clarify loneliness, please. Ooh. Oh my God. I'm going to take all these. Spirit. Oh my God. Spirit. Look, three of cups, three of cups, the stars, and ace of pinnacle. 
Look, these your ancestors and spirit guides. You're going to be celebrating very soon, too. A lot of you is going to be celebrating. Some of you guys could have a birthday coming up. It could be your birthday season. If so, happy birthday. But spirit is saying, you, this your spirit guides. You are never alone. Plus, you have a lot coming up, coming to you. You have a lot to celebrate. You have a lot to be thankful for. You have a lot to be thankful for because you're being blessed. God is blessing you. You have unconditional love. Your angels and ancestors, then I say they all around you, they love you. This is unconditional love. A lot of you guys have new love coming towards you. Some of you guys, a Scorpio Cancer, a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces could have made you some type of offer. And yes, you, Spirit is saying you may feel alone. And if you do feel alone, Spirit is saying that's good. Because a lot of you need to use this time, this alone time. A lot of y'all like to be alone anyway. Use this alone time to heal, to cleanse your energy, to heal from, uh, from all the things that you have been through. Okay? Wow, this is so beautiful. Yes. Two of Pentacles. Some of you guys, uh, you could be an earth sign. Page of Pentacles. A lot of you are earth sign. You you have brand new beginnings coming towards you. You have brand new starts, brand new beginnings. Don't trip. Let's clarify trust before we go. What's trust, spirit? Clarify trust for my black sheep. Clarify trust, spirit. Wow. The Tower, Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, for a long time, a lot of you guys didn't trust. A lot of you guys didn't trust that you were you were uh, born to be wealthy. That you was born to to uh, receive these spiritual gifts. Okay, with the Tower in the reverse, you are coming out of that way of thinking. With the Tower in reverse, you could be a Scorpio. You are coming out of that that lack mentality. You guys are seeing, you guys are going within and seeing just who you are. You guys, this is confirmation. All my black sheep, you are the chosen one. You have a huge purpose. You have a huge purpose to teach others of and teach others of the things you went you've been through, to teach others how to uh get out of situations you got up, got out of. And I just want to this is confirmation. I just want to say, Black Sheeps, y'all are so special. Y'all are so perfect. I love y'all. We, y'all, man, y'all the shit. That's, I, I'm sorry. I just got to say it. This is my smoothie. Uh, I, let, I, I cheers to you guys. Y'all got a lot coming towards y'all. Step in this power. And so y'all, those of you who already stepped in your power, cheers. And I see you at the top. Peace.